Welcome back to Insecurity. We are still at CES 2020. Now we're talking to one of the founders of the Feast, the COO and Howard Train Development Manager, which is really one of the coolest parts of the bike at Damon Motorcycle. Uh, Derek Dorstein, this is not your first motorcycle company. So let's tell a little bit about how we got here and then what we're here for. Yeah, so um, I, I also founded uh, Alta Motors uh, with, with two other people back in 2008. Uh, we produced a uh, lightweight electric motorcycle, very very different from this motorcycle. Uh, got, got it into production, got it into consumers' hands, made about a thousand bikes. Uh, the bike was a, was a market success, but, but other factors caused the company to close down. And you know, frankly, I had some unfinished business. I, I, had, I had envisioned building a, a bike, something like this, uh, at Alta. And, and when, when I was introduced to Jay and Dom, it, it be, the, the opportunity was presented to, to actually do that. And I'm, you know, I'm really excited about being able to do that, but I'm really excited about the features that this bike's going to have. Because not only are we talking high-performance electric motorcycle with unprecedented uh, power, speed, and range, we're talking about a motorcycle that has this integrated safety system, Copilot, which is going to fundamentally change the safety of riding a motorcycle. Now I want to dig into that in a second, but I do have a question. You were early on in the electric bike game, yep. motorcycle game, electric bikes go way back. Uh, it feels like electric cars had fits and starts when they got going and now it really has become a thing. Is that a fair comparison to motorcycles? Was it a similar birth process? Yeah, um, you know, I'd say that uh, electric motorcycles are, are right now like at the point of maturity where the, where the, where the public kind of gets it, the public gets the car, the car has made it easier to understand the motorcycle. And you know, let's face it, right? The, the, the electric transportation or electric power transportation is our future, right? It, it'll, it, will, it will dominate almost every sector of transportation. And it's just a matter of how long it takes and the right product offerings that get, get people excited that they're gonna buy, right? And so um, the, the, big, the big OEMs, don't have a huge interest in building these things yet. The entrenched OEMs, right, they, they don't have a huge interest in, in getting into electrification just yet, right? It's not a, it's not a compelling problem they're, they're interested in solving because their gas-powered business is doing great, right? So that leaves the door open for a company like Damon to come into the market with a product that outclasses anything in the market, right? 200 horsepower, 200 miles an hour, 200 mile range, in, in, in electric is a, is a new thing. It's a, it's a whole new game, right? The, the way the power is delivered, the sort of accessibility of that power because it's electric is, is, is just really an astonishing experience. When 200 miles an hour, that's a magic number, right? Like now you're legit, this is a sport bike. Well, it's, it's, not, just a, it's not just a sport bike, it's a sport bike at the pinnacle of sport bikes, yeah. right? I mean, it's, that's, yeah, that's where it's at, right? That's bragging rights for anybody who buys it. Now, you mentioned the key word, safety. Tell me about what's going on inside of here that is so different from what we've seen before from anything, not just yeah. electric bikes, right? I mean, this is groundbreaking stuff, period. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a truth about motorcycling that, that, that no other OEM really addresses, and that is that, that motorcycling is inherently dangerous, right? You, you don't have a big armored cage around you like you do in a car, and if you're involved in an accident, your risk of injury is higher, right? And for Damon, reducing that risk to, to zero over time is our mandate, right? That is our goal. We want, we want to see motorcycling thrive and, and be bigger than it is now because it's less risky, because it's a great motor transportation. It's really fun, it costs less, it takes up less raw material to build a vehicle. You can park more vehicles in a space, Right? I, I mean, feel like that's an undersold quality, is that you could park like five of these in a place you put one car. Absolutely, right? And, and as our world you know, gets out of a few more cars and into a few smaller vehicles, right? You know, it'd be great if those vehicles were actually also safer, right? So, so this bike has an array of sensors that are, that are looking at and tracking potential threats to the rider. We've got camera and radar systems on the front and the rear of the motorcycle and they're looking at traffic that is either closing from the rear of the bike or closing from the front or that the rider is closing on like a stopped vehicle. Uh, in addition, it's looking at somebody that might be in the blind spot of, of your traditional mirrors, right? This bike actually doesn't have mirrors because it's got a rear-facing camera and a display. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. 
um, and that's a, that's another safety centric feature, right? Because because the act of taking your eyes off of dead ahead where you're looking and looking over at a mirror is taking your attention away from the threats, right? And where you're going, right? And, and motorcycling, unlike a car, is is an activity that you know is 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 really well, it's almost zen in nature, right? You are you are you are in the moment. Yeah. You are living it. There is no. You have to be. You have to be in every moment. That's right, right? And and the, and the, and people ride bikes. They talk about that a lot, and it and it's part of that experience. And and we're like enhancing that experience. We're 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 giving the rider more attention, more time to sort of you know, make sure that they are going where they want to go, they're picking the lines that they want, and you know, and they're and they're aware of any of those threats. So these these sensors then can communicate back to the rider with a series of lights at the top of the windshield or a haptic feedback in the throttle as to the specific nature of some of these threats. I think right? that is so cool. They literally vibrate like video game controllers. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's actually an amazing technology. Um, I've spent some time riding around in the urban environment with this motorcycle and these features, and you know, it is safer, right? You, you have more information, and that information is very useful in, in making a better riding experience. Now, as the head of development for the powertrain, our Still, all eyes focused on this one, or are you already working on either 2.0 or oh, no, some other thing? We're or? still deep in the middle of this one. All right? right. So we're, you know, we're we're at, we're at the we're at this sort of deep design and development stage, right? Where we're we're putting everything into production, and there's a there's a there's a lot of details, right? You know, bringing a bringing a product like this into mass production is no small feat. Yeah, well, it's like birthing several babies probably all at once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shameless plug time, and it, it's we had the big unveiling this morning. If people want more information, where should they go? Release dates, if we can talk price, anything. Yeah. The whole world, Derek, Derek, yeah. whole world. So so we, we pulled the sheet off of this thing this morning. We, we told the world about 200 miles an hour, 200 horsepower, and 200 miles of range. Right? We introduced the, the price tag of $24,995 US dollars, and we've directed people to go to DamonMotorcycles.com and put a deposit down on a bike. They need to get in line. The, the order book got got filled today. It worked. Right? All right. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna serve out those those orders on a first come first serve basis. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on. If you've been checking out what we're doing at CES, you know that Damon is leading the pack. Maybe you guys will develop, whether it's a helicopter or a spaceship next, but let's get this one done first. You know where to go to get more information. Blackberry's involved in this a little bit too, so you may want to check that out to see what QNX is involved with this. All our good stuff you can find at blackberry.com, also at Blackberry and at Silence Inc. Uh, anything going on with you out in the social media? or? Uh, yeah, so we're. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, you know, there's we're, we're we're constantly pushing out you know content, more information on the bikes, you know, little little insights into the development process, and uh, it's it's really a fun thing to follow. Another thing to check out: uh, make sure you look for 650 E because he's been riding these bikes. He's been talking about them. He'll give you some details as well. I am Matt Stevenson. Look for me at Pac Matt 73. I don't know if it gets any cooler than this. This could be the last one. So make sure you check it out.